What's going on guys? It's Lexi V. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a vlog and take you guys with me wherever the day takes us. I also wanted to give you a little room update. If you guys haven't already seen my most recent room makeover video, then go and check that out. I recently redid my whole entire room. If you remember in that video, I said that my room wasn't completely done. There were still some pieces that I was looking for and I finally found those pieces thanks to Pottery Barn Teen, which leads us into today's sponsor pottery barn teen i'm so excited thank you so much to pottery barn teen for sponsoring today's video if you guys don't know already every single time i've ever done a room makeover pottery barn teen has been in my room for the longest for as long as i can remember even before i did youtube i always had pottery barn teen in my room so i'm really excited about today's sponsor and i'm really excited about the new pieces i got for my room and I can't wait to show you guys. One of Pottery Barn Teen's brand pillars is sustainability. Good for you, good for the planet. And they bring that to life through the teen relevant lens of style meets sustainability. I get questions all the time about my furniture, what my furniture is for this room and my previous room. I had the same furniture from Pottery Barn Teen that I love and it has been so durable and sustainable throughout the years that I've had it. Cool fact is that 100% of their wood furniture is Green Guard Gold certified, meaning that they use only only high quality materials that are tested for harmful chemical emissions. All right, so just keep in mind, this is not gonna be a completed room tour for you guys. If you wanna see my completed room tour, you have to go watch my room makeover video that I did. The link for that will be in the description if you wanna watch. All right, so starting with the changes that I've made in my room, I changed the bedding already. I wanted to get something that was lighter than that dark gray I had. I feel like it was getting lighter outside, turning into summer. And I just wanted something to light up my room a bit and make it a little bit brighter. So this is what the bed looks like with all the new upgrades. I had the Amelia Tinsel gray shams and quilt. I really love how the light purple correlates with the lighter gray. I think it looks much better with the lighter gray than the darker gray. I also have the cozy Euro shams and the cozy Sherpa blanket. It makes my room literally look so comfortable. And I think what helps tie it all together is the Lux shag rug and it just looks so good. I mean, come on, it looks amazing. Coming over here, I have a gold framed mirror. It's a full length mirror that I really was excited about because my last mirror was this thick black framing and it just didn't match my room at all. And now with the gold around the mirror, it just matches the rest of the gold accents. But what else is pretty cool, I have this gold framed again swivel pin board and look at this guys it's also a mirror so how freaking cool is this I absolutely love this the main reason I like it is because I sit right here at my desk to do my makeup and I have to always get this little small mirror just to do my makeup and it's so annoying it's so convenient for me to just pull up my chair and do my makeup right here in this mirror instead of this baby little mirror I can eat this whole thing but that wouldn't have been possible without this awesome swivel chair this everyone is the velvet pleated desk chair I got this in gray it swivels in a full circle and again it is gold framed and it matches my bedroom what I love about this chair besides how comfortable it is I can literally sit in this chair for hours is that it literally swivels all the way around and it's on wheels and I can just roll between my desk and my mirror back and forth all the time all day if I want to do all right so that is my room updates I hope you guys like it just as much as I do shout out to my mom for helping me put everything together and decorate if your mom doesn't like to decorate as much as mine does that's okay because Pottery Barn Teen offers a free interior design service whether that is virtual in the store or in your home with their design crew service make sure you guys follow pottery barn teen on instagram and tiktok at pottery barn teen and don't forget to shop at pbteen.com thank you so much to pottery barn teen for sponsoring this portion of the video now let's get on with the vlog as far as what i'm doing today and what i'm gonna get into and all that i have really thought about it yet here are some things i know i want to do today i know i want to cook something because I haven't cooked in a long time and I saw this really cool recipe that I wanted to try and it looks so good and I wanted to try. I also am going to be taking my braids out because I've had them in for a while. I went out of town and I went on vacation and everything and they're just, they're just ready to go. 
my schedule honestly looks super clear but i also want to plan some things out for youtube it is 12 20 lunchtime that's all i'm hearing i might go to a local barbecue um shop not shop a local barbecue restaurant here and get a baked potato mmm so yum that's definitely what i'm gonna do but it's so annoying because where the like place is located it's like right on the road and so if you go at a busy time like lunchtime the cars will be backed up onto the main road which is so annoying and then i don't know where to park and it's just annoying so i don't know when i should go look at how it looks outside it's so cloudy and like rainy looking it i think it did rain earlier but it's just so ugly outside so i might put on a sweater um because it's kind of cold not cold but it's just windy and right now i'm trying to find extra batteries with some life in them because i'm pretty sure most of my extra batteries are dead guys if you're a youtuber and you're a vlogger or something you know bro you literally have that like 17 billion batteries bro on go so that's what i'm trying to do get my 17 billion batteries together and charged up Okay, all of these batteries are dead. That's unfortunate. All right, so I'm about to head out and get some lunch. I'm so hungry right now, it's not even funny. So I'm gonna go to the barbecue place I was talking about earlier and get me and my mom some potatoes. All right, guys, so please ignore the mess that's in my back seat. I don't even know what y'all are looking at back there, but I recently came back home from being on vacation and it was so much fun. But let me tell y'all, I missed my house. Now that vacation is over, it's time to get back to work and back to the swing of things. And if you guys, well, you wouldn't know because these videos have never been released. But lately I have been just trying to change my habits and be a lot more productive in my everyday life. Um, obviously it's summer, I'm not in school and you know, it's time to work. So I've been trying to just know be productive and a way that has been very helpful with that is filming so yeah I have these cute little episodes that I filmed when I was kind of coming out of like depression mode and I was just kind of filming them to help keep me on track and help keep me motivated those videos are not um, out at all yet but they may be out soon who knows who knows I don't know. I'm hungry, but I also have a headache, and it's because I'm hungry. Like, every time I'm super hungry, I get a bad headache. Hopefully that lunch line is not coming out the whole place right now, because it's so annoying. But they got the best potatoes ever, so I don't blame them. Yeah, these, are, these birds are ready to go. I'm definitely gonna be taking them out tonight. It's only been a week. In a few days but I was doing so much I was sweating a lot and I went swimming so they ready to go there's also not as many braids so they are clearly not gonna last this long all right that was such a short drive I'm literally already here and there's no line coming out the place which is great it only took me a couple minutes okay we here Drive through barbecue. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna get my mom and I something to drink because there is nothing to drink at the house. Okay. And then, do you have Coke? Uh, Pepsi. Okay. Can I do one Pepsi, light ice? Regular size Pepsi, light ice. Mm -hmm. Do you have root beer? I'm sorry. Do you have root beer? No. Do you have Fanta? No, I have a Dr Pepper. I'll just go with the Pepsi, and that's all. Do you need any side sauce today? Um, can I get red and white sauce? Sure. Okay. Oh, time to eat. It's time to eat. That's all I can eat about because I'm hungry. My mom's lucky to have me, bro. She gets free lunch delivered to her still. Her door still. Every day. Mom, the food's here. All right, guys. So I'm about to tear this up. Oh my gosh. I got white and red sauce. I don't know which tastes better. I'm gonna have to try them though. Mm -mm -mm! Ooh, that's hot. You're not getting any. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I love their potatoes, bro. 
I was gonna answer some questions, but I honestly didn't ask for any. So I guess I'll ask right now if anybody has any questions. I love doing this while I'm eating because I don't know what to talk about. So I just rely on you guys to give me the topics. I got some questions and y'all already on it. So the first question is, what am I doing? I'm gonna reply. Eating and filming. Will you be going back to school after summer? As of right now, I, I don't think so. Why are you so pretty? Thank you, but I don't know. Somebody said, how are you mentally? Mentally, I'm better than I was before, but not quite exactly where I wanna be. But I would say I'm good, but not great. Show recommendations, ooh, this is a good one. I recently started watching a show called Ozark, and that was pretty good so far. I've been liking that. Somebody said, how do I stay consistent when I don't feel like filming? The honest answer to that is sometimes I don't stay consistent when I don't feel like filming. And I feel like lately has just been really up and down, but I'm working on it. And I guess to answer the question, how? I'm trying to focus on how I start my mornings and also focus on how uh, I organize my life. Somebody said, what editing software do you use? My videos are edited with Final Cut Pro. Do I like sports? I do like sports. Um, my favorite sport is basketball. I don't like playing sports as much as I like watching them. Well, that's kind of not true. I do enjoy playing basketball every now and then. It's so much fun. So not completely done with my food, but that is all I'm gonna eat for right now. I will be coming back to this. And when I do, I might just do some more questions. So I'm gonna leave my post up for a few, let the questions roll in. But in the meantime, I'm going to maybe start doing some work. Oh, look how cute. Oh, that guy is so cute. Anyways, what I was saying was, I want to start doing, I want to start working on some new uh, work. So my sister has created a system to help me stay on track. And alrighty, so let me show you guys. This is kind of what I'm about to start planning. We have a checklist, reoccurring deadlines, and stuff like this to keep tab of everything. So this is kind of what I'm about to work on at the moment. I know the back of my head looks ridiculous, but all right though, I'm about to work on some video ideas, getting video ideas down, but taking the further, taking the next step further to actually um, plan them out, that tends to be what I forget to do, so. Hey guys, so I did some work off camera and um, I'm kind of done with that now, but I'm not even done all the way, but I'm stopping because I literally just want to start taking my braids out right now. I'm literally ready to start with these braids, like, I just want to take my hair out. <laughs> oh, my curl is bad. Ah, uh, these were the best braids to have for vacation, but I'm back home and these braids are ready to go. Alright, so now I'm going to start taking these braids out. Um, I'm gonna stay in front of the computer. I might turn on a video, turn on something productive, or just do something not productive, like turn on some music, I don't know. Um, I like to, all the time, just be inspired. I like to just consume content. It sounds unhealthy, but I do it at a healthy, I don't do it, I don't consume too much content, but I do like to consume some kind of content during the week because I am a content creator and I, you know, like to be inspired by other content out there also guys i literally dyed my hair black two or three months ago and it's already lining up to this brown it's literally so light already back to this brown color and i'm kind of mad because it's just not what i wanted that's half my head this is what my hair looks like. It definitely needs a good wash. <laughs> but finally, I'm on the last freaking braid. Here it is, the last braid. Oh. And then I'm done. I'm so hot, bro. I don't know why I still have this on, but I'm hot. 
So I was thinking of what I want to do after I finish my hair. Um, once I do this, I just have to wash it and probably do a moisturizing mask in it. But I was thinking of what I wanted to do after. And I want to be able to like be one of those girls who can go, I mean, just go out by themselves and enjoy being alone. But that's just not me, bro. I can enjoy being in my house alone. So my hair looks so crazy right now. This is all the hair that uh, was used. That's so weird. So, um, there's my hair uh, all taken out. It feels so dirty. I just want to wash it. Yeah, and I want to bring my curls back. Because what is this? I'm going to head to the bathroom though because I need to get in the shower. So that I can wash my hair. I got such a tan out of town, bro. What the heck? Since I'm deciding to wash my hair in a different bathroom, I better grab my stuff. The reason I'm washing my hair in another bathroom is for two reasons. One, because my drain, like I just said, and two, because my mom has it's like treatment, something. You know what, my mom literally has everything I need. Okay, period, we're in the baby's bathroom. This shirt is literally don't know how to be a shirt. Like, what are you doing? I need to find that stuff my mom said to use, but you know, who knows where that'll be. Okay, here is the moisturizing mask that I was looking for. Okay, so I had to use this after I washed my hair, and then I guess I'll put this on. Yeah. Ooh. What is this? Oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> well. I love how I'm acting like this is the first time I've ever been here. I haven't been here in a minute. All right, people. So I've washed my hair, and um, every time I wash my, every time I take my hair to braids, I don't like to really style it for real. I kind of just wash it and let it breathe. <laughs> so I will not really, you know, care too much about how it actually turns out in the end result. Um, I just want to wash it and let it be out of braids. I've decided on what I'm going to eat. Um, I'm just going to make myself some noodles. <laughs> because it's something really easy to make and then I don't have to go to the grocery store. Hopefully we have cheese. Alright, so let's make some noodles, girl. I need water. Alright, I'm going to add two cups of water into this pot that I have on the stove. Um, before I add my noodles because, yeah. That just come with it. Now I need to make sure that we have everything that I want to put in my noodles, which is literally just cheese and eggs. So I wanted to use mozzarella cheese, but we don't have any. And yeah, I'm just gonna make noodles, guys, because that's the easiest thing. They're boiling, that's great news. Um, I think in a few minutes I will drain some of the water out, not all of it, and then I'll put in my little spicy packs, my cheese, and then we're gonna eat some noodles, Woo! Oh my gosh, I just opened my package from the only place I know how to show up online, and my bead spinner came, but this isn't a regular bead spinner, this one is electric. Meaning, I don't have to manually spin it. It'll just keep spinning by itself. Isn't that cool? And I got some new beads um, yesterday that I was really excited about making bracelets with. As you can tell, I make a lot of bracelets. Dang, bro, I'm just violating this box. And this came with beads, too, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited to really take a look at that. I don't want to open it in the middle of the kitchen, you know what I mean? But I think my noodles are ready to be emptied a little. Hopefully I don't lose all my noodles. One time when I was a kid, I was making noodles and I was so hungry and I asked my sister if she could make me noodles, but she said no. And I was so hungry and while I was draining the water out of my noodles, I spilled them all. I was so sad. So I'm actually gonna be leaving most of the water in there because um, I don't want it to be too spicy and waterless, you feel me? So. I left most of the water. I might 
drain a little more. Now uh, you just gotta add the seasonings and that's like it. So don't worry, this isn't like the super, super spicy one, although I think it's still spicy. It's not like the super, super spicy one. Oh, come on, that's about to be spicy, bro. You see that color? Why? Why is that spicy? Oh, I forgot about my egg. Ex ignore my dad over there on the ground. <laughs> He's playing with his fish. <laughs> that is so funny. What are you doing, though? Oh. Water change mode. Shoot, I didn't put the egg in yet. What the heck? I literally just said that. I need more cheese. I wish we had summer sausage. I will put that in here. Oh shoot, what is this? I forgot to add that. Whoops. Never claimed to be a master chef or anything. I'm just out here doing what comes to mind. The first thing that comes to mind. Um, this is gonna be my first time ever trying these noodles and whatever concoction I just made. Um, mmm, mmm, way too much cheese, but that's good, and it's not as spicy. Okay, my noodles, my noodles are done, and they buzz. My noodles are done. It's time to consume them. So we just gone, you know, dang, bro. Barely if any of that came in here. All right, my noodles are completo. And I'm gonna take my bead spinner and my noodles upstairs <laughs> to enjoy. And I'm gonna make some beads tonight because I'm excited about my new bead spinner and I'm excited about my new beads. So oh, yeah. Oh, these noodles look good. Can you tell I'm hungry? All right, y'all. Time to have some noodles. Mm. Mm. I forgot earlier I posted the questions and I said I would finish answering them later. So let's see what people asked. Playlist, babe? I would draw my playlist, but uh, I don't know. Then everybody's gonna follow me, you know? <laughs> Do I stay, still play GTA? Honestly, yeah. Every now and then, but at the same time, no. Cause it's been a while. Favorite album? <clears throat> That's a hard question. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, my favorite album? Right now, is I have a favorite album all, of all time, and I have a favorite album at the moment. Why can't I speak English right now? My favorite album at the moment is Dawn FM by The Weeknd. <laughs> That's my favorite album out right now. And my favorite album of all time is uh, 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 Off The Wall by Michael Jackson. Do you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Ooh, this is like the juiciest question of the century. Everybody always wants to know. <clears throat> and just to play with your mind, I'm gonna keep you wondering. JK. Just kidding. Uh, uh, I'm gonna just say I'm not single. Meaning, I am. Mmm. You didn't hear that. What car do I have? Right now, I have a Mustang. Am I on break yet? Yes, I am. I guess you could call it a break, but it's really on, my, on, on life mode. How is it taking care of a Mustang? It's like taking care of any other car, really. Do I still hoop? Only for fun, like only if I'm going out with my friends or we're going to the gym, just to get a good workout. And it's usually with my boyfriend's friends. My friends don't even play basketball anymore, or at all. 
But um, yeah, hooping is still, I still hoop, but like not on no team. Who do I have winning the finals? Mmm. Honestly, I've been watching the series, but not the whole thing. Like I only, I only watch it, I only watch it when Jason Tatum is. Bro, these noodles are so good. And when's our wedding? Oop, tomorrow. How am I doing? Honestly, good. Are there any YouTubers you want to collab with? Um, no. Collabing is so intimidating to me. I don't know why. I don't know why. But maybe it's because, I don't know. There are a few creators that I absolutely love and would like never, if they ever was like, do you want to collab? I would like never say no. But it, collabing with, I don't know, it's just intimidating. What's wrong with me? How am I scared? Mm -hmm. My mom sees this video. She's gonna be so mad that I'm slurping the noodles. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just not about to twirl that much. I keep going for this. There's nothing in it. There's nothing in here except ice. All right, I'm not gonna lie. These noodles is busting like bust down Fatiana. Like these are busting. Anyways, pretty much every other question was uh, a repeat. I posted that on my spam account and I had more followers on my main account, obviously. I am about to get into this electric bead spinner. I got some wire, some string. Dang, this bead spinner came with some stuff. I got the cord, the cords for the bead spinner. And what is this? Oh my gosh, is this string? I believe this is string. Oh, this is some thread, some lead line actually. I don't know what that means, but. And then here is the actual bead spinner herself. She's like encased in bunches of beads. Hello, so I was about to start making my beads, but my sister um, tried my noodles and then she asked me to make her some. So we back in the kitchen making a whole nother noodle. But it's okay because it's yummy. Feeling fussy in my Balenciusies. Today is the greatest. So we're gonna start with this because the last time I just did it, I literally, I literally put that in last because I thought it was like the veggie. I thought it was like the pack of veggies, you know. But apparently, it wasn't. Make that move right now, baby. Okay, now for the cheese. Now for the cheese. Now for the cheese. All right. So I'm gonna put the little cover back on. Let it get all hot and steamy, and let the um, water thicken. The noodles are done. Yummy, yummy. I guess I could just dump it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mmm, now get a load of that. I will. All right, so I fed my children. And um, it's time to continue on with my doings. I was about to start um, checking out my bead spinner and I was maybe gonna make a few bracelets on it. I'm really, really excited about this, you guys, because I've been trying to make to take my beading to the next level, I really do have a passion for just creating everything. Like, creating anything in any form, creating is like, I just love to do that. Beat spinner, let's turn on some lights, girl. This is a light that I actually got from some store, and it's like a, it's not even like a ring light for, Hey yo, what? This thing was just a different color. I'm just, I don't know. But I picked this little thing up from the store and it's not like a ring light, but it is, but it's not, but it is, but it's not, but it is. I'm about to use it as a little light because it's so dark. I'll tell you what I really don't want to do. I don't want to turn on the big light. <sighs> Y'all know I don't like big lights. 
I will do anything to not have to turn that light on. I'm gonna turn on my track lights above my head. Anyways, back to trying to figure out my thingy majigger. You take this, you plug it in. And there, it's spinning. All right, so let's test this bad boy out. See what it's talking about for real, for real. All right, literally only got two. I don't even think these beads can turn the corner. They literally can't. Why? All right, it don't, it don't, it don't work. It don't work for the big beads, okay? It just don't. All right, so now we're gonna go, actually, we're gonna try out these beads next. These ones are not as small as this, but they're not as big as the other ones. I don't know how this turned into an arts and craft show, but it did, okay? Thank you. All right, bro, let's make some bracelets. For real this time. All right, it's working, but like, girl, you is going so fast. Yeah, I asked what's the rush. All right, so something that keeps happening is my beads are like going to one side, bro. a lot. Look how many that was. So I guess that's my only question, bro. How do people keep the string on here? It would have taken me so long to string this many beads. If I could get into the swing of things, I could make so many bracelets with this. Okay. So I have fun with my arts and crafts. I didn't successfully make one complete bracelet. I, I did make this one, but I never finished it. I'm sorry. You know, maybe this is finished. Maybe this could fit my wrist. You know, it probably could because I have small wrists. It, it would. I'm gonna finish it because it literally would fit. Uh, I feel like I need just a few more more beads on here, so I'm gonna hand string the rest. But um, so far today, honestly, hasn't really been productive. It's been more chill, which you know, I'm not complaining. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Give it a little tie, tie the knot, and then that's it, bro. That's a whole bracelet. So you might think, bro, who's that supposed to fit? Um, me. Look at that. So we added one to the collection. Um. Yeah, with my little electric beat spinner. Anyways, let's flip this dog in. He's been crying at my door for the longest. I think I'm about to hop on the game, to be real, and just chill out for the rest of the night. So I was just playing and I freaking died. <laughs> but I smell somebody's cooking something and I really am hungry again. <laughs> Not that I'm hungry again, but the food just smells good. So I'm gonna go find out what it is. What it is? Oh, what's up? Is this finished? Ooh. Looks like it's just some rice and some steak. Mm -hmm. Not the duck, like the <laughs> duck. <laughs> Please keep that in there, bro. That's hilarious. That's 